This is by far the best way you can eliminate your ADHD symptoms naturally. The very first thing that I love doing with my patients and clients and that I recommend anybody trying to solve why they're having all these ADHD symptoms and they're struggling trying to do it naturally. And the first thing is ultimately is looking at what are all the imbalances in your body chemistry that are contributing to these symptoms. One of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to people treating ADHD is they think it's just all an issue with the brain. But the body is so interconnected that there's multiple contributing factors that can make your AG symptoms even worse. Especially if you're an adult with ADHD, you're gonna have other chronic illnesses that make your ADHD symptoms worse and they keep on getting overlooked by your doctor because they think they just need to be addressing the imbalances in your brain chemistry, such as like thinking that you just need to fix dopamine. So what I love doing, and I think that's a very important step for the first thing you need to be doing is doing lab testing to look at the imbalances through your body chemistry. Not just lab testing for the brain, but also lab testing for all the vital organs throughout your body that can possibly contribute to your ADHD situation. Now, every person is going to be unique and every ADHD person is going to be unique as far as their health needs. But some of the more common ones, especially with adults with ADHD that we need to look at is looking at a full hormone panel, looking at progesterone, estrogen, estradiol, looking at DHEA, testosterone, seeing if there's imbalances that can be contributing there. Other things to look at is even looking at your thyroid. Thyroid definitely contributes and does show up as similar symptoms to your ADC symptoms. Some other really big ones to even look at is to look at a full micronutrient panel to see what are the possible vitamins, amino acids, and other vital micronutrients that could be contributing to your ADC symptoms because you might be deficient in it. And it can make it very difficult for a lot of the different neurotransmitter pathways to help build, to help support your ADHD, such as things like dopamine and norepinephrine, which are a very common issue with people with ADHD. Now, once you have done lab testing, then you finally have a roadmap to really see what's going on, why you're experiencing all these different ADHD symptoms. Now you can see clearly what is deficient or what's possibly even elevated that's causing you to be maybe more stressed or anxious. So the second step that I find that's very effective is once you have that established, now it's time to implement what is going to help support the body to help the body to be able to heal itself. Because when you can see clearly from your labs that something's deficient, now you know what foods to implement, you know what lifestyles to implement, you know what specific natural treatment with supplements or nutrition and lifestyle habits, possibly lower elevated levels or help improve deficiencies. So when you finally can identify how to support the body to not only heal the body, but also heal the brain, be able to help eliminate those ADHD symptoms for you, the other critical thing that you need to be implementing, which I would say would be step three, is start to eliminate the things that contributed those deficiencies in the first place. A lot of times these are gonna come down to the things that you're consuming that are making it difficult for allowing your body to heal because it's causing inflammation throughout the body, but also eliminating different external stressors in your life to make it very difficult to allow your body to heal. And this is something that I do a lot with my patients and clients is to identify what are those actual external stressors that are contributing to your life situation. Is there things in your relationships or at work that are causing that? Or are there things that you're exposed to environmentally, even in a house that you live in or a factory that you work at or things that you're consuming on a regular basis that are making your ADHD even worse? And this is definitely going to vary from person to person. That's why I think individualized care is the key factor to eliminating your ADHD symptoms because not everybody's the same and we need to look at it as more of an individual case by case basis because that's what I have found to be the most effective way of helping people eliminate their ADHD symptoms naturally. And the fourth step that I would say, once we have this established of knowing exactly what to implement, it doesn't stop there. It does require to analyze and adjust what you're currently doing and retesting to see, okay, is what we're implementing effective? Are we start seeing the deficiencies start to be eliminated and we're starting to see things that were elevated before that are causing our HG symptoms to be worse to lowering those down? But more importantly than that is analyzing and adjusting your treatment plan so it works with your lifestyle. So what I mean by this, when I work with my patients and clients, it's very important to establish good habits that you can be consistent with, that it works with your lifestyle. You not only can have the great results, but also have the consistent results throughout your life because it's manageable. And this is what I think that a lot of people with HD suffer with is they find that they do a extreme treatment protocol or a complete nutrition overhaul, but they can't manage 
keeping up with it because it's too strict or it's too complicated and so they don't stick with it. So therefore they're not gonna get the consistent results. Now, if you want further help on all these things that I just mentioned, then you should click on the link below to book a consultation with one of my health experts that we can help you with this process to help you optimize your Ishii brain and finally eliminate your Ishii symptoms for good. Now, the fifth very important thing to be implementing is once you have established a great treatment plan that works for you, it's now time to actually focus on building good habits and routines, but also implementing strategies. What I find that most people struggle with with ADHD is they have tried lots of different strategies. They work with coaching or therapy or try different brain hacks, but they find that they can't be consistent with those strategies. And the biggest reason I would say that is, is because no one is addressing the actual imbalances in their body chemistry. And that's why the order that I was just discussing is when we can identify with lab testing what is actually out of balance, then we know what to implement to help bring your biochemistry back to balance. Once you bring your biochemistry back to balance, then your ADHD brain can work at its full capacity so it can implement strategies and you can be more consistent and you can implement more routines such as like having a good sleep schedule, having a good work routine, having a more manageable home life and being more present with the ones that you do love. But bringing this full circle, it does require all those things that I just mentioned in order for this to be effective. But one of the biggest things that I also see that is a big challenge for people is they think that their ADHD is only a dopamine problem. But for doing this for years and having ADHD myself, I don't think it is just a dopamine problem. There's a lot more to it than just thinking it's dopamine. So you should watch this video next where I dive in deep explaining why ADHD is a lot more than just dopamine, but a lot more in depth and explaining what you need to do about it to finally succeed with your ADHD. So watch this video next.